Hi friends, good day. Today, let us try to understand about operating cash flow and methods used in depicting cash flow. According to Peter Lynch, big companies have small moves. Small companies have big moves. Before we go in, please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. What is operating cash flow? Operating cash flow. Operating cash flow is a measure of amount of cash generated by companies' normal business operations. It is often called as cash flow from operations. It indicates whether a company can generate sufficient positive cash flow to maintain and grow its operations, otherwise, it may require external financing for expansion. Operating cash flow begins with net income, which is at the bottom of the income statement, and non-cash items are added back, and the adjustments are made for the changes in the net working capital to arrive at a total cash generated or consumed in the said period. It measures the cash that a business produces from its principal operations and business activities by subtracting operating expenses from total revenues. It shows how much cash flow is generated from the business operations without considering the secondary sources of revenue or the income like interest and investments. For example, a company that manufactures a certain product must make more money selling them compared to the amount it costs to produce them. In other words, cash inflow must always be greater than cash outflow in order for the business to be profitable and able to successfully pay its bills. Operating cash flow is an important benchmark to determine the financial success of a company's core business activities. It is the first section presented in the cash flow statement. Operating cash flow is equal to net income plus non-cash expenses minus increase in capital working. The two methods that are used to depict the operational cash flow section are acceptable under the generally accepted accounting principles. They are the indirect method and the direct method. Let's look into indirect method. The first option for depicting cash flow is the indirect method. In this, the company begins with net income on an accrual accounting basis and works backward to achieve the cash figure for the period. This means it involves the adjustment of the net income which changes in balance sheet to arrive at the amount of cash generated by the operating activities. The statement of cash flows in one of the components of the company's set of financial statements and is used to reveal the sources and the uses of the cash by the business. Now let's see the format for calculating the operating cash flow using the indirect method. Particulars Net profit before tax and extraordinary items Adjustments for Depreciation Foreign exchange Investments Gain or loss on sales of fixed assets Interest dividend Operating profit before working capital changes Adjustments for trade and other receivables, inventories, trade payable, cash generated from operations that is interest paid, direct taxes, cash before extraordinary items, deferred revenue, net cash flow from operating activities that is indirect method. The indirect method of presentation is quite popular because the information required for is relatively obtained easily from the accounts that a business normally maintain in its charts of accounts. The indirect method is less favored by the standard setting bodies since it does not give a clear value on how the cash flows through the business. Now let's look into the direct method. The second option for depicting the operating cash flow is direct method. In this method, the company records all the transactions on a cash basis and displays this particular information using the actual inflows and outflows 
during the accounting period. While preparing the cash flow statement, the actual cash receipts from the operating revenues and actual cash payments for operating activities are arranged and returned in the cash flow statement. The net cash flow from the operating activities using the direct method is the difference between the cash receipts and the cash payments. Examples of direct method of operating cash flow include salaries paid out to employees, cash collected from customers, income received from interest and dividends, cash paid to the vendors and suppliers, income tax and interest paid. Format for calculating the operating cash flow using the direct method. Particulars Cash receipts from customers Cash paid to suppliers and employees Cash generated from operations Income tax paid Cash flow before extraordinary items Extraordinary items Net cash from operating activities Direct method the advantages of the direct method over the indirect method is that it reveals operating cash receipts and payments. The standard setting bodies also encourage the use of direct method, but it is rarely used compared to the indirect method for the reason that the required information is difficult to obtain. Companies generally do not collect and store the information in the manner which is required for this format. This method requires that the chart of accounts to be reconstructed in order to collect different types of information. So simply instead of direct method, they opt for the indirect method which can be more easily obtained from the existing account reports without reconstructing or changing anything. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please do like and share.